for all those cats that I was ballin' with Say rap ain't finna get my ass a scholarship And how come every teacher's motto is Music ain't gon' do for you what college did for me That's the problem, Nancy, baby, I ain't too on me Tonight I'm gonna party with the people that believe so Bertrand, it's the note-taking ability, it's the attention to detail, it's the desire to get better. And one of the things he did, he's been looking at some of the comparisons people have made to him. Sean Lee being one of the big ones. Luke Keekley is someone he just massively respects. And both gave him incredible amount of time. Luke Keekley spent 90 minutes on the phone with him. He's got notes for pages and pages and is taking every bit of knowledge, soaking it up, and trying to be the best version of a sponge that he can be with both of them. Gets his second consecutive and his fourth start of the season and gets hit right away. And that is ruled on the field. A fumble scooped up by Kaiser and taken inside the five-yard line. Now we'll wait and see if that was the open hand and the ball was a fumble or he had control of the ball going forward and it's incomplete. They let it play out on the field. On fourth and one, oh. handed off and hit right there at that point by J.D. Bertrand and stopped immediately. Bertrand said no, cleanly into the backfield. <laughs> he sure did. So Toledo takes over at the Notre Dame 40. Let's see if they can continue the momentum. Big hit to erase that first down gain. McKee didn't like his first option. Now he will scramble. And he lost the football at the end of it. Ball is out. Are they going to mark him down? We will see. Like Early the on the field is a fumble and recovery by the defense. First down. Scratch that. Refs have a conversation. Change their mind. J.D. Bertrand was there. Maris Leofau scoops it up. Nobody Let's liked see. Jerry Rice. Up on the ball, moving quickly. Williams, long fake. Now trying to escape pressure in his face, and down he goes. Heat on him from every direction. Bertrand got there first. This Notre Dame defensive front has been incredible all night long. There's been no place for Caleb Williams to move, but a big part of this thing is what's going on in the back end. He chases it down. Columbia gives it's pain again, but he is stuffed immediately. J.D. Bertrand read that one from his linebacker spot and was there to meet pain. Clint Trickett's trying to keep this Notre Dame defense honest by running the ball inside through this preseason. 27 pressure up the middle is picked up, but not for long as J.D. Bertrand finished it off. Micah Kelly had the first block, but he got steamrolled. And Bertrand has the sack. They blitz J.D. Bertrand. The back takes him. Plummer. Plummer is taken down by Bertrand. Second sack for the Irish. setting up a screen, but that screen goes absolutely nowhere. J.D. Bertrand was step for step and made the play. Talked a lot about Isaiah Foskey, one of the best players showing up today. This Bertrand is everywhere. Okay, smart football player. Notre Dame on top, 24 to nothing, and J.D. Bertrand against his old hometown team gets Dante Smith for the cat tackle. Just 21 yards total on the last four drives. Good matchup up top. The swing it out underneath. And the stop by J.D. Bertrand denies Dylan Downing a first down. Here's a quarterback. You've got a slant out here by David Bell. And the north end of the stadium from the seventh. It's an inside give, and it is a stop with very little room to run. Once again, J.D. Bertrand, another big tackle game for him. This has been a tough down for the Rebels. 0 for 6 so far. Flip this one out, trying to gain the edge here, and stopped up short. 
J.D. Bertrand flowing over there, and he dropped Young Humphrey. Like the idea of third and four, just trying to get to the perimeter. Here's Bertrand right here, and he sees what's happening. See that on third down. This is just second down and long, and a run play gets nothing. His Notre Dame defense really has picked it up. Turn in motion. Garendo remains the back, and he will get the carry. But he is driven back by J.D. Bertrand, who's been a tackling machine lately. The top three. to recover it jd bertrand like a missile into the backfield and riley mills comes up says our football will the refs agree and they're having a conversation about it unlv 0 for three on third down pressure look from notre dame and pressure's gonna get home isaiah foskey and jd bertrand gets there as a penalty marker flies. Holding offense number 60. Penalties decline. Fourth down. You see this unbalanced yep. set, and then there's Michael Cooper, the receiver, right there. Lost inside, denied. It'll be fourth and goal. And you're seeing some of the effects of that here early on in the ball game. Blitz is on. Bayer trying to get rid of it as he had J.D. Bertrand running cleanly into the backfield and got rid of that football just in time. Al Golden is not afraid to dial up pressures. He's doing it early on in this game, and here's Bertrand right in the middle of the defense. Coach Huff so impressive. Now Labor. Mills and Leofau there to make the stop. One timeout remaining for Notre Dame, and they'll take it. So a nice drive by Notre Dame. This field goal they leave empty-handed. This is Ellison, and everything on the ground has been tough for a week. Moorhead protected well, but there's a dangerous pass. That's J.D. Bertrand had an opportunity for the interception. You can see he's upset with himself that he didn't hang on. Flowers is the best player for B.C. Moorhead trying to get him the ball on a quick little slant. Completing three out of every four passes in the first couple of games. Run with Doru, and he is met right away. J.D. Bertrand and Myron Tango Valola Mosa. For the Irish shutting down the run game, it'll bring up third down. Second and six, and it is Kobach with the run to the left, four yard. 2.45 remains. Irish with two timeouts right back to Philkins, and he is met and dropped. It's J.D. Bertrand, the leader for that Notre Dame defense, who gets him on the ground. 